How to replace the heating tube and the thermistor sensors. You might need to replace them when having heating issues. So here is a heating tube and a thermistor sensor. Next, we will show you how to replace them. Here's the kit that we need to install them on. It has a nozzle, a heating block, and a throat tube. There's a small hole for the thermistor sensor. And a big hole for the heating tube. That's it. Then we can fix them by tightening the screw in the bottom. And this time we will use this helpful print to hold the gantry. It's highly recommended. We will put its link in the description. Let's get started. Preheat the nozzle to 210 degrees. It will help you detach the heatsink and throat tube. Remove the print head cover. Disconnect the motor cable. Remove the extruder cover. Then remove the parts in it. Take the extruder kit out. It looks quite worn out, we will replace them all. First, detach the fan and remove the heat sink. Loose the bottom screw. Remove the heating tube and the thermistor sensor. They look worn out, too. Let's replace them. Insert the heating tube and leave some room for proper heating. Tighten the bottom screws to fix the heating tube. Insert the thermistor sensor all the way to the bottom. The sensor goes to the middle when the cables are folded. Use some high temperature adhesive tape to wrap it. Before that, you can fold the two cables in advance. Find out the proper length. Turn off the power and disconnect the power cable. Take out the cables from the print head cover. Detach the cables from the wrapper. Cut the zip and pull the cables out all the way to the bottom. Turn the printer over. And use the print to hold the gantry. Remove the screws. And the bottom cover. Disconnect the bottom fan. Disconnect the thermistor sensor cable, HE1. It's tight, remember to do it carefully. Loose the screws on the HE0 port. It's for the heating tube. After that, you can remove the cables. Remove the sticker. Take out the rest of the cables. Remove the joint. Remove the old cables carefully. Put the new thermistor sensor cable in. Settle it well under the mainboard. Connect it to the TH1 port. Pull the cable out a little bit to settle it well. It will leave a proper length for the thermistor sensor. Put the heating tube cable in. Insert each cable into a hole. They have no difference in negative and positive. Just set them tight. And make sure there's no short circuit. Settle the cables with the joint. Then put them back into the wrapper. It's tricky and going to take some time. A screwdriver could be helpful. Bending the wrapper and pressing the cables against it could also be easier. Connect the bottom fan. Put the bottom cover back. Tighten the screws to fix it. Turn the printer over. Hang the nozzle kit properly. 
Connect the power cable and turn the printer on. Preheat the nozzle to 210 degrees. Install the heat sink after the temperature reaches. Use a wrench and pliers to tighten the nozzle. Close the heating and wait for the nozzle to cool. Settle the rest of the cables with the joint. Insert the joint back into the print head cover. Put the parts back. Before putting the cover on. Make sure you don't miss any part. Put the extruder cover back and tighten the screws to fix it. Put the print head cover back. Tighten the screws to fix it. Connect the motor cable. Use the sticker to settle the wiring harness. Those sticker tapes are reusable. Don't miss them. After that, fix one wiring harness with a zip. There are two small holes for that. After that, we are done. The heating issue should be fixed now. Let's do a test print. Everything seems to be fine. It prints as normal. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts please leave comments down below. Please subscribe to get our latest updates. We will keep making content to help people know 3D printers. Happy 3D printing!